Did you like that with Steve Forbes? Well, tomorrow, Randy Sanders, new football coach at ETSU, late of Florida State, is going to join me on Tri-City Sports Now. I believe 1 p.m. is the scheduled time there. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, really a lot of talk here. Uh, you know, why ETSU? And uh, we did mention he, says he wants to be in control of a program. He actually said at his press conference last month, introductory press conference almost a month ago, that he wished Phil Fulmer had called him a few days sooner or else he might have been the first coach at ETSU. Of course, went to Carl Torbush, but he was interested, but he said, I just took this job at Florida State, offensive coordinator, big boy job. Thing in head coach at ETSU is also a big boy job. Speaking of football coaches, you heard this man, Nagy, new Bears coach. She was the offensive coordinator of the Chiefs. Chiefs lose. What's going to happen with Alex Smith? I, I got to tell you something. I think whoever picks up Alex Smith is going to be picking up a good quarterback. Could it be Jacksonville? A lot of people speculating because Tom Coughlin's back in Jacksonville that Eli Manning could return there, and that's a possibility, certainly. But, uh, I, you know, when you have somebody like Smith, game manager, yes, but someone also who can win a game. Although I guess he didn't do so in the final drive against the Titans now, did he? Uh, still, that wasn't necessarily a foreign out like what happened with Cam Newton. A lot of talk, and we'll get to it in the next half hour, about the NFL playoffs, officiating, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, right now I do want to talk a little bit about uh, the Vols. The Vols, uh, well, first of all, they're losing Khalil McKenzie, defensive tackle, to the draft. A lot of people saw that coming. I wonder why he took so long, as a matter of fact, to uh, declare and my guess, and it's total speculation, my guess is he just was looking for the right agent. Uh, but, yeah, the Vols will lose another you know, pretty good player on the line. Vols, you know, you got to hope that that recruiting class, and they're going for the JUCOs, especially out of Arizona Western, quick, for a quick fix under Jeremy Pruitt. Uh, I don't know. I'll tell you, the... Uh, I do think it's a rebuilding project there. I do like Ty Chandler coming back as a running back for the Vols next year. I thought he was a good talent. Look, they came three yards away from beating Kentucky with Ty Chandler in there, not John Kelly last year. Chandler had more moves. He was more explosive as far as I'm concerned. The faster back, whereas uh, Kelly more of the bowling ball type. So restructure the offense there. I still don't think you got major quarterback, uh, quarterback questions. Not only who will start, but Really, how good the guys are, because you didn't see a whole lot out of Garantano or McBride or Normandy last year. None of them really impressed that much, so, regardless. But there are also new recruits coming in. J.J. Peterson, four-star linebacker, picks the Vols over Alabama. That's a Jeremy Pruitt recruit right there. That's a Jeremy Pruitt recruit. And there are some new coaches coming on. There's a new hire I like. There's a new hire I don't. And I'm going to tell you all about that. Plus, NFL conversation. You know, Pink's going to throw, uh, sing the national anthem. There you go. Hopefully she'll remember the words. I'm like Christina Aguilera. And this is Tri-City Sports Now. Did you know that the five most common symptoms